Hello guys, in this video we want to add header to our project. At the end of this video you are going to have a header like this with foodmine text that is the logo of the application, login item, user menu and cart page with a badge on the right side of it. So let's add the header. Before getting into the tutorial, I want to create a readme file to know what we want to do on each lesson. First of all, open up the explorer and click on this empty space. Then click on new file and write readme.md with all capital letters. Inside it, we want to add lessons header and all the lessons that we did in previous sessions. On this video that is about adding header, first of all, we want to generate the header component. Then it's about adding HTML and corresponding CSS to the header component. Now that we know what to do, let's close the readme file and open up terminal for adding header to our project. We want to add it as an angular component. For doing this, click on plus icon, go to the front end folder and write ng GC for generating a new component inside the components folder, partials folder with the name of header. Then press enter. Now let's verify that it's generated successfully. Close the terminal, open up the explorer inside the front end folder, src folder, app, components, and partials folder. You can see it is inside the header folder and we can see all of our components stuff from CSS file, HTML file and TS file. But before adding anything to the header component, I want to clear everything inside the browser. By going to the app component HTML file, click on here, control A and backspace to delete everything here. App component is our root component. So we need to put global stuff inside it. And as you know, header is a global component. So let's add app component here by writing app dash header like this. And if you say what is app dash header, you can go to the header component.ts file to see that the selector of this component is app dash header. And if you change it to anything, you need to change this part too. But we don't want to touch it. We can continue in this way. Let's see the result inside the browser. As you can see, it says header works. So we successfully added the header at the top of our root component. It's time to add our beautiful header inside our header component. Let's go. Close the app component and header component TS file. Click on header component HTML file, then close the explorer. Clear everything here, then add an HTML header, add a div with the class of container, add an a tag here with the router link of slash and class of logo and set it text to foodmine. This is the logo of our application, just the text with a link to home screen. And this router link allow you to go different routes on the client side. Let's see it on the browser. As you can see, we have this foodmine text here. Currently, it will do nothing, but it will do in the next videos. After a tag, add a nav tag. Inside it, add a ul tag and an li tag inside it. First item is login link. Let's add it by writing a router link slash login with the text of login. Second list item is the user menu. We want to have a menu for the user. Let's add li with the class of menu dash container. Inside it, we need an a tag with the router link that goes to the dashboard with the name of user that we don't have it yet. So we can use a sample name like John. We need a div here for the menu items with the class of menu. Let's add the menu items as an A tag inside here. The first one go to the profile of the user with the text of profile. Second one shows the orders of user, the text of orders. And the last one is the logout link with the text of logout. 
In future videos, we will implement the functionalities of everything inside this page. This LI is finished. Let's go to the next LI that is for the cart page. Let's add its A tag with the router link of cart dash page with the text of cart and the badge of number of items inside the cart page as a span. We don't have the quantity of the cart yet, so we use a number, for example, three. We are done with the HTML file. Let's see the result inside the browser. As you can see, we have this output. It's not so beautiful, right? Let's go to the header component CSS file and make it beautiful. Open up the VS code inside the header component.css. If you don't know where it is, inside the explorer on the header components folder, here you can see header component CSS file. Let's start with the header tag. Its position should be relative. Its background should be white. Padding should be zero and border bottom should be one pixel solid and this color E72929. Now let's go for the all the A tags inside the header. Set its color to AF1313. For the hover effect of all the A tags, set the background to E72929. Set its color to white and its cursor to pointer. Let's see the result inside the browser. It changed a little bit. Let's add more CSS. For the class of container, Let's set it margin to zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. Set its display to flex and justify content to space between. Now, if we look at the browser, we can see that these two parts are completely separated. Interesting, right? Let's add more CSS. Let's add the style for logo A tag. Let's make it bold and set its padding to one RAM. Now it's time for the UL tag. Set its display to flex. So we want it to be a flex box. Let's remove those bullets from the left side of the UL by writing list style type none and set its margin to zero. Next, we have all the A tags inside the UL tag padding one RAM. Display inline block. Let's take a look to the browser. Now we have this. On the next step, we want to make this tree as a badge for the cart. Let's do it. Our badge is a span inside an A tag. Let's add it to styles. Let's set its background to hashtag FF4D4D and set its color to white. Its padding should be 0.1 RAM from the top and bottom and 0.45 RAM from left and right. Set its border radius to 100 RAM, so it should be completely round shape and set its font size to 0.9 RAM. Now we want to give a style to the menu container. We want to set its position to relative. Let's jump to the menu itself, set its position to absolute, its Z index to one, background to white smoke and its display to none because we don't want to show menu always we just want to show it when we move our mouse on the menu container and when we are inside the menu so let's add the hover effect to open up the menu so when we hover our mouse over the container while we are inside the menu the display should be block so the menu will be shown and for the last style inside the header we want to set the menu a tags to have width of 100 percent and min width of 8 ram let's see the result inside the browser as you can see we have this menu and we have this beautiful badge on the right side of the cart but as you can see, it is not how it should be because we didn't add a couple of things inside the global styles.css. Let's add it right now. Let's close these two opened items. Open up the explorer, go down and select styles.css. First of all, we want to import our default font that is quicksand here. 
That is our default font from the fonts.googleapis.com. Now we want to add box sizing to the wildcard. It means all the tags inside our HTML file will get this style. Our box sizing should be border box. If you don't know what is box sizing, you can hover over it and click on this MDN reference. Since we are using RAM, we can control its sizing by the root font size that is HTML tags font size. I want to make it explicit to 16 pixels. And I want to set the default font for HTML and button to quicksand and sans serif. And if you ask why I put the button here, sometimes button use a different font as the default font. So I made it explicit here. For the body, I want to set the margin to zero. And for the A tag, everywhere, I want to remove that text underline from it by setting the text decoration to none. Now let's see the result and reset the zoom level. As you can see, we have a beautiful header for our app. Okay, this was for this video. On the next video, I will show you how to show products inside the homepage. You've been watching Code with Nasir, and I hope to see you in the next video.